there's a lot of stuff happening around the NFL. Oh, yeah. So we did not expect on this particular week eight of the NFL season kickoff Thursday for every sports show to lead the program with Jerry Jones and Mike McCarthy drama. No. Yeah. Now, Jerry Jones uh, stops by the flagship radio station down there in Dallas, and uh, he says a lot. Mm -hmm. Jerry Jones, anytime he talks, he says a lot. Wide open. Yeah, it is a lot of things. He said something in the middle of an answer, though, that he sent the world into a little bit of a tizzy. And I honestly did not expect the response from the sports media people. So I must have heard his answer differently than other people. But here's Jerry Jones on the flagship station down in uh, Dallas talking about, like, the problems with the team. This inevitably would lead to a lot of people even questioning McCarthy is Jerry Jones saying you're a big, dumb dipshit whenever it comes to football? Pretty much. Yeah. Here's his answer, and then we'll talk about it after. But the point is that uh, we've, uh, in my mind, uh, we're not playing very good football right now at all. And uh, it's beyond whether or not we have Derrick Henry or not. Derrick Henry is having a career year. Uh, I don't know if he'd be having that career year in our situation. And that's really something you really do have to look at because if he had not had as many carries as our running backs have had, then he certainly probably wouldn't have attained uh, the uh, level of impact he's having. And then he's a real good complement to the type of offense they run. We don't run that type of offense at all. You see? Uh, our situation is more about, frankly, it's more about holding your blocks. Why? It's more about not making mistakes. What? It's more about, in my mind, the receivers running through a tough man-to-man -man okay. coverage and running on through it. Okay. And, uh, if you will, get away from uh, that. Uh, the, the types of things that we all think we should be looking at is, well, we're designing bad plays or we're designing uh, uh, bad concepts. You should think about that. The facts are that there's some of that, but there's also some of uh, execution. Uh, there's some of uh, uh, the talent. Uh, I like our talent. I really do like our talent. Okay. I like yeah. our young talent. But young talent has a few more mistakes associated with it than, uh, uh, than if you are dealing with a veteran player. Although you've got to have young talent, as I've said. You see. So I, in there he says... Like, you naturally think, well, it must be the plays, must be the scheme. And then he says there's some of that, but everything else he based before and after was about the players not making plays. Yeah. We need one-on-one -on -one with wide receivers, do this, we need to do this. I didn't hear him taking a shot at McCarthy other than him just cutting a promo about his Dallas Cowboys team and saying, like, you might think that, and sure, there's some of that. We all can agree that there's a bad play or two. I didn't see or hear him burying Mike McCarthy there. Now, Mike McCarthy then was inevitably asked about it, and he said, I hear that, I gotta go check it out, whatever the case is. But I think that one little clip about him saying questioning strategies or designs and things like that. I don't think it was an actual shot. Personally, it sounded like he was firing at a lot of other people. But man, a lot of people heard that as a shot at McCarthy. Former coach, obviously in the NFL. Your owner gives that answer. And Mike McCarthy is dealing with something vastly different than everywhere else in the NFL. We talked about it being a zoo yesterday. Mm -hmm. The only training facility in the NFL that offers up tours being three feet away from Dak Prescott. It makes 10 million bucks. That's right. Okay, it makes 10 million bucks. An extra 80, 80 grand per team into the salary cap because of these training facility tours. And in the grand scheme of things, obviously that helps. Sure, you know, yeah. that, that certainly Big helps. Yeah. Uh, the players around the NFL, eighty grand, that's a good number. It is, it's mm -hmm. a good number, a lot of money. If you're just walking down the street and somebody said, "Hey, here's eighty grand," holy shit, serious? But the salary cap getting bumped eighty grand, I don't, <laughs> hundred some million. Well, more than that, yeah. I don't know how. To, but anyways, it is helping. Did you hear that as a shot at uh, McCarthy? And if you're Mike McCarthy, how do you kind of handle all of that shit, Coach? I think he handled it. Beautifully, because he's going to get asked, right? So if it's out there, I don't. I don't think it was. I think Jerry just rambling like he like he can ramble and talk <laughs> about things, and he he starts to go down one road, and then he catches himself, then he goes down another one. It's you know, could it be scheme? Could it be players? Young players, mistakes, this, that, and the other. So you know, Mike handled it well. I if I'm him, I don't. I don't. I, I just take it. Hey, okay, my owner's being my owner, right? Jerry being Jerry. And, you, you know, you move on. There's so much going on. There's so much di distraction, to your point. I mean, they're sitting there three and three. They're coming off a, uh, off a bye. They need a win in the worst way. They're going, by the way, to San Francisco, right, oh, to yeah. play the 49ers right. who, just got, who just got their asses beat, right? And they need a damn win. So 
there's a lot going on, and it's the last thing that Mike wants to do is have to answer anything like that. So, And I think Jerry, you know, he goes on that show, I think, twice a week is what I heard. He goes on there twice a week. That's basically the only time you really hear Jerry other than those post-game press conferences where the microphones yeah. are Down his on his yeah. mouth. Yeah. 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 On his mouth. That's that's old school there. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. That's old school. And walk in and then... Whoa, 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 Don't want to yeah. misquote him. They should tell him that, hey, technology is a little better. Yeah. What? Well, in in that, there's some people utilizing technology. From the last scrum I saw, there's one phone. From the phone that I saw, you can see everybody else's phones. You yeah. can see, you can like do a little look around on these phones. Some of them are using a voice memo. Yep. Some of them are using that. Some of them are using another, like, editing, I think, uh, like an audio editing mm-hmm. app in there. One guy I saw was on this side. He was holding his left hand, I think, kind of around Jerry like this. It was transcribing it immediately. Like sweet. the entire like thing was just getting text. transcribed. Yeah. It was like voice to text, exactly is what it was. And he had that thing real close because if he does miss a couple, it'll start. Yeah. yeah. You know, that one, the, the transcribing voice to text one, you get off three words all of a sudden that it's sentence done. Screwed. vastly different you're gonna have to go back i thought that was genius though yeah, yeah I'm like, there is a good tag team partner there mike mccarthy goes from green bay mm-hmm. to his basement every single day as a fire coach he goes down to dallas he sees this entire zoo do you think he yearns for the days when he was a green bay backer head coach tires i mean maybe maybe a little bit but i think like we we all we all talk about this like you know exactly what you're getting into when you go to Dallas and I don't think anyone could ever really say like especially all these guys who have been in the NFL for so long I don't think there's ever really like a wow you know you you hear all this stuff about the Cowboys but then it was it was so much different when I got there like he knew exactly what Jerry's like Jerry owns the team he can do whatever the hell he wants and he's going to do whatever the hell he wants he has for the last 20 years so maybe to a degree but I mean it's not like you know Green Bay although there's not as much of like the media, you know, craziness like there is in Dallas, like the expectation to win, like it may, right there with the Cowboys, if not more so in Green Bay. All right. So uh, let's move off of this discussion. Connor, I, did I hear it wrong? No, no, I don't think so at all. I mean, the Cowboys aren't a good football team. Yeah. So when the owner three comes three? out, yeah, yeah, for sure. They're, they're decent, but like the Cowboys where they True. want to be like, he's going to come out and say, yeah, we're not playing good football on offense and they aren't. So, so I don't know why it's like a, a burial. It's not like he came out and said, hey, everybody needs to get the hell out of here. Mike McCarthy doesn't know what he's doing. He said, hey, we're not blocking well. Our receivers need to be better. Our young guys need to be better. Like, isn't that what – I feel like that's pretty status quo right there when it comes to Jerry Jones and just owners in general talking about their team. Yeah, it's almost one of the most basic answers he's given <laughs> yeah, ever. And it, it's become like – well, and it obviously – the fuel to the fire is the fact that he's on his last year of his contract that is Mike McCarthy. Right. So he's like, is he a lame duck or is he just waiting until his contract's up because Jerry Jones uh, is a guy that said, we we negotiated a contract. Mm-hmm. That is what we're going to do. And then at the end of the contract, we will see whether or not we want to continue that. Remember, Jason Garrett decision took like years yeah. mm-hmm. for Jerry Jones to make. So how will Jerry Jones handle the Mike McCarthy contract talk going forward? How will Mike McCarthy handle the team going forward? Because they're still in it. Oh yeah! Three, like, this is not a uh, season over type situation. The training facility tours, I'm telling you, we've talked about it here for a few years once we learned about it. And I'm happy that Kalen, uh, writer for ESPN, Kalen Kaler, wrote about it and got responses from yeah. guys that have been in willing to say, like, yeah, I, it's, it's a zoo. It yeah. blew. It is, <laughs> you have to get certain people in there. If you have those people, I think you're going to do great if you're going to run the business that way. That's like everybody being aligned. Everybody talks about everybody being aligned. And normally that's like owner, GM, coach have to be aligned. But in that particular outfit, it's the owner is this way. Mm-hmm. We are, This is what we are doing. <laughs> so GM is him and his family. Yep. Yeah. You're going this way. Mm-hmm. Coach, you got to go this way. But it's also the players too. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, players, you have to also be able to handle the way this team's going. Yeah, there might be a chopper that's coming down. You're going to be on prime time. Every single week. Yeah. You're going to have tours walking through while you're trying to work out. Just like everybody else in the NFL is trying to work out. Just like everybody else in uh, in the NFL is trying to do their uh, practice uh, in, in meetings and everything like that. You're going to have to deal with, like, walking through fans. It's a meet and greet in the middle of the day. Mm-hmm. You have to deal with – nobody else does, mm-hmm. but you have to – that means you got to get all the right people in your building to ever have success. Hopefully they'll be able to do that down there. 